From September 3rd to 4th, the Symposium on Venerable Zheng Yen's Philosophy and Leadership brought guests from nine countries to Harvard University. Co-organized by the Tsiji Charity Foundation and Harvard FAS Cam Lab, esteemed scholars presented 12 thought-provoking papers. As the director of Harvard Cam Lab, we are collaborating with Tsiji Foundation to host this conference. This is the first conference of the kind that takes place at Harvard to honor Master Zheng Yen for her contribution in bringing Buddhism to the contemporary world. I'm here today to take part in this fabulous conference. It's just a great opportunity for scholars, practitioners, volunteers to come together and talk about all the important things that Tsuji does and to discuss them in a scholarly way. It's fantastic to have papers in English and Chinese, to have really a multilingual and multicultural community of scholars look at Master Zhen Yan. This event marks the ninth installment of Tsuji Global Symposium on Common Goodness. Representative of Dhamma Masterchenian. 是對慈濟人在全球投入慈善工作的肯定。我是抱著非常非常謹慎前程,還有一份感恩的心. Charity is just the act of giving, while philanthropy is all about action and change. Over the decades that I've been working on charity, it's come to me that there's an interesting distinction in Anglophone countries between philanthropy and charity. Philanthropy is used often when we're talking about male work of giving, big money donors. Charity is much more often thought of as a female enterprise. That's crazy. Men and women both do charity. Men and women both do philanthropy. But somehow or another, these two words have become gender-coded. The two are not just complementary, but actually inseparable. I learned a lot. The very first paper about this, the gender language really helped me rethink some of the categories that we use in academic discourses. Talking about this topic, it's exciting to do it in the context of the Master Zheng Yan, because Master Zheng Yan themselves really doesn't see themselves as a gendered individual. And what they do is non-gendered. They've taken the best parts of giving, male and female, and they've created a post-gendered kind of compassionate giving. Thank you all. Every year, over 806 billion animals are killed. I wanted to find out what is this and why vegetarianism is the centerpiece. Suji is rooted in Asia, but its aspiration is global. It seeks to speak to other cultures, other civilizations, and hope to find some kind of common ground. The first time I heard about Suji was in 1998, when I was preparing my MA dissertation on Buddhist nuns in Taiwan. And I decided to focus on Master Zheng Yan, the way that she explained Buddhism. One way is different languages that she used, also translated into the theatrical performances, because when you are in a theatrical performance, you become part of a group. And something that for me is also interesting is how she talks about Buddhism without talking about Buddhism, and so being able to attract people who are not Buddhist. I'm not Buddhist. The fact that you have invited me shows that Suzy has courage, and Suzy really wants to hear the opinions of outsiders. What we need to do is continuously learn from each other. We should be post-East and post-West. Incorporates the whole world together in a compassionate moment. Thank you all. Thank you all that.